Hey everybody, Stuart McAdam here and in today's video we're going to be looking at campaign budget optimization versus ad set optimization. What it is and what the differences are between the two and what it means for your Facebook advertising campaign and ads themselves. So let's hop straight into it. Okay, so here we are in the Business Manager account of Fire Recruitment Australia once again. Thanks very much to my client for allowing me to record here. So we're just going to open up a campaign and we're going to show you a live campaign which they've got right now that's running and it has campaign budget optimization. So as you can see here, these are the campaigns that are set up and here are the ad sets. So as you can see, the f I'm just going to zoom in here a little bit more budget is five dollars a day and this is the level this is where the budget has been set up it is at the campaign level and what it what happens there when you have it set up at the campaign level is that it then allocates the budget out to the ad sets based on what's performing the best and also what's generating the best user experience and the best results for you because Facebook is looking to combine both and make sure people not only get a great user experience but um, advertisers are able to get a return for their investment as well. So that's set up quite simply. I'm just going to hop into the edit button now. And as you can see right here, just scrolling down from campaign level, scrolling up here, you can see campaign budget optimization is turned on. Now, if you're wanting to go to ad set level, so going clicking into the ad set that's running here and set up the budget from here and as you can see right here that's not showing up at the moment because it's at campaign budget optimization we just turn this off and we select here add set name and we select publish and as you can see here the budget has now been moved to the ad set level so this is a good opportunity if you're wanting to run multiple split tests with campaign targeting by creatives, by ad copy for different areas, and you're wanting to try different things out, and you want the budget to be used evenly across the board to see which one gets the best response. That's often when it's best to go into campaign level here, and then have a look at um, allocating the budget out by ad set groups. So say for example, we wanted to duplicate this one right here, and we wanted to put it in the same campaign, just select duplicate, and we also wanted $5 a day to go towards that. You can see right here, that's where it is right here. Or if you're wanting to try something different, say you're wanting to have a bigger budget, you could move it up to $10. Or if you wanted to try some different targeting, you could change that there. Or it could be something where you're only targeting people on a particular platform or device and seeing if that leads to a better response. So that's the reason why ad set um, budget setting it at ad set budget level tends to be the best now a question that gets asked too is what if is the difference between CBO and ad set level in terms of results and I've split tested both of them both for clients and also for my own personal advertising and I found that there is actually very little difference sometimes you have more success with campaign budget optimization so just to go back here in order to get it going, you just turn it back on here after two hours, obviously making that change. And that tends to produce good results if you are working with large advertising budgets and you may be running some complex campaigns, whereas in with ad set level is excellent at those early stages if you're wanting to test and see what the market is responding to best based on different metrics by interest, by budget, uh, also by ad copy and a couple of other things as well. So that's the answer to today's question. Thanks very much for watching. If you found this useful, please consider subscribing to the channel and we'll see you next time. Thanks.